At the end of June 2020, we paid our first visit to the lovely Kitzer Estate Winery in Badenheim, southwest of Mainz in Germany, to give you an insight into the elaborate maintenance work carried out on the vineyards. In mid-September, they start the grape harvest, and so, of course, we returned with our cameras. We start this story in the very cool early hours of the morning at the end of September, six kilometers south of the winery. Bjorn Kitzer and team member Fabian have already been out with the grape harvesters for a few hours. To optimize the processes later on in the wine cellar, especially in terms of the quality of the grape sample and to make the most of the cool temperatures in the morning, they start many a harvesting day at three o'clock in the morning. Bjorn Kitzer runs the family business with his brother Tobias and his father Hanfried. Organizing the work on the vineyard, including of course the harvesting, is all down to Bjorn. This morning's goal is to fill the two large wine presses in the wine cellar with grapes as quickly as possible. It takes the two machines around three to four hours to do this. Working in the dark presents a few additional risks and challenges. Each vineyard is different, so the drivers have to adapt their driving to the vines and the terrain and adjust the settings on the 200 horsepower harvesters very specifically. Above all, they have to keep an eye on the fan speed and shaking frequency at all times. Here, they're harvesting Weissburgunder, also known as Pinot Blanc. The Burgundy family of wines represents a significant proportion of the wines offered by the Kitzer Estate winery. It is very popular with customers both in Germany and abroad. The 2020 wines are promising to be yet another great year. But they'll only find out with more certainty later, when they measure the specific must weight in the wine cellar. The sun is gradually coming up now. The first block of the day has already been harvested. Bjorn and Fabian are making their way to the next vineyard. The Rheinerhessen wine growing region encompasses around 27,000 hectares. There are around 3,000 wine growing businesses in this area, all of varying sizes. The smaller businesses are often run as a sideline. The specialist machinery they have to use is expensive. Agricultural contractors assist with planting, maintenance and harvesting. Even the two harvesters owned by the Kitzer Estate Winery are loaned out to other businesses. Just like on this vineyard. It takes around 100 hectares of vineyard before a grape harvester like this pays off. Depending on the equipment, the net purchase price ends up at 250,000 to 300,000 euros. The Kitzer family have relied on aero harvesting technology for many years. This SF200 has already been in operation for a number of years and still does its job just as reliably as ever. This 7200 version is just two years old and has all the latest technology. This machine is also equipped with an optional Viti-Select sorting table to give the grapes an extra clean. With the right settings on the sorting rollers in terms of spacing and speed, leaf fragments, petioles and other debris can be sorted out effectively. The stems and stalks from the grapes are already removed on the field via the de-stemmer. Both cleaning units adapt automatically to the gradient of the harvester. It's not too far from Badenheim to the harvester's production site in Simmel. This is where the vineyard machinery manufacturer Aero opened its new factory in 2018. Aero started as a company in the 70s by producing equipment for mechanized canopy management. It made a name for itself with its trimmers, which are still very popular today.
the harvester was first added in the early 80s, and they quickly gained a foothold in this segment too. One of the unique features winemakers appreciate, compared to other manufacturers, is its side-tipping grape bin. Harvesters nowadays are high-tech machines that are used in wine-growing regions the world over. As a result, they need to be able to deal with a diverse range of canopies and yield sizes. These days, around 70 grape harvesters leave the Aero factory each year and of these, 20 are destined for export. Providing a rapid supply of replacement parts is also a big part of what they do. Global sales of self-propelled machines are around 800 per year. On top of that, there's tow-behind machinery. The vast majority of Aero's 260 employees work at the Simeon site. From the metalworking and fabrication of many of the key components and the cab, through to powder coating and assembly, all the key manufacturing processes are concentrated on site and performed in-house. This includes research and development, of course. Currently, they're working on updates to the 5000 series and a whole host of tweaks for the 7000 series, which we saw at the Kitzer Estate Winery. Michael Erbach is the founder's son and is the second generation to run the company. Good ideas, a motivated and creative team and a pinch of entrepreneurial risk-taking have made Aero the successful medium-sized company and significant employer it is today. Now back to the Kitzer Estate Winery. Hanfred Kitzer, the senior partner in the business, is delivering a wagon load of Weissburgunder grapes. Tobias, employee Johann and apprentice Max have already prepared the receiving point and the two wine presses. Depending on the grape variety and usage, the so-called mash is often left alone for up to 24 hours to enable the aromas to be released from the grape skin. These Weissburgunder grapes that were harvested early this morning in the cool are going straight to the wine press for pressing. Inside, the mash is pressed firmly but carefully through a large fabric sheet and the grape juice, known as must, is collected below. Measuring the weight of the must now gives Tobias a clear indication of the quality of this Weissburgunder harvest. 96 degrees Erxler is of the highest quality, making it a late vintage. The must is now pumped into tanks and pre-filtered so that only clear must is fermented. Special yeast cultures are used to boost the fermentation process and ensure that the sugars are converted into alcohol. Over the years, the family has amassed a great deal of experience and knowledge of producing prize-winning, quality and top-quality wines. These large and small tanks are monitored repeatedly during the fermentation process. Is the temperature right? How are the aromas and the character of the wine developing? The grape residue can now be emptied out of the closed tank press. In the coming weeks, the so-called grape mark will complete the cycle and be spread back onto the vineyards as an organic fertiliser. Around three quarters of the vines in Rheinerhessen are white wine varieties. Bjorn is now out on his own harvesting a red grape variety called Saint Laurent. This is a highly aromatic red wine variety, which isn't actually that common in this region. Virtually no other agricultural crop demands such a perfectly timed harvest as grapes. The vineyards have to be monitored continually both before and during harvesting. Each 
harvester can cover around four hectares in nine hours. The working speed is another important factor during harvesting. The earlier the grapes are picked, the slower the team has to travel, and the higher the shaking frequency must be set. Bjorn generally has the harvesters fitted with six shakers on the right and left. The aim is to shake the grape zone while protecting the rest of the vine. The collector plates and the conveyor at the base of the harvesting unit captures the grape crop and transports it to the sorting unit. In the meantime, Hanfried sets off to another vineyard. He's driving the winery's Fent Favorite 824, which is due to be restored soon. On the one hand, this future classic is still handy for using on the winery's arable areas, but on the other hand, it's a collector's item that is becoming increasingly hard to find. At our last filming location of the day, the team had another tricky task on their hands, because this Riesling variety grows on the Kitzer's steepest slope. It's difficult to fully comprehend the 40% incline until you're sitting in the cab of this tall, narrow machine. Bjorn has been driving these harvesters for 17 years, but even he still finds himself in precarious situations now and again, especially during bad weather. The extreme steer angle on this harvester is helpful when turning. But it's the turning manoeuvre in particular that requires a lot of skill from the driver. On steep slopes like these, the driver has to balance out the machine's hydraulic height adjustment wheel by wheel at the same time as manoeuvring and manage to enter the next row. Once in the row, the harvester is safely steered automatically with the help of ultrasound and feelers. No matter how many hectares of grapes have been picked during the day, the harvesters still need to be meticulously cleaned with lots of water for around one and a half hours before they can finally call it a day. Harvesting carries on into November, but with these last few scenes, our short glimpse into wine production at the Kitzer Estate Winery in Rhineland Palatinate comes to an end. If you'd like to know more about the business, please visit their website or follow the family on Instagram. And for in-depth documentaries on farming and farm machinery around the world, please take a look at our website, www.farmworld.tv.